I lost a huge amount of muscle during the hurricane. I didn't have electricity or water and, uh, for 62 days right before, during the fight, like during the last part of my fight there. So uh, now I have my blood diseases fixed. I have, I have electricity. Um, do you know what's really, really weird about electricity? So the hard thing was cooking, but do you know what the worst part about ha having electricity, honestly, is laundry. Especially if you're training, you're training twice a day, so you have all that laundry. I have three kids. Um, so it was just like that laundry took so much. And I would rather, and I was talking to my daughter the other day, I would rather go without, um, I would rather go without water than electricity. Because I can figure out water. I can pot water in and I can get it in. But that not sleeping and, and not being able to eat, like, I remember getting hungry and crying. Because I was like, I have to go to the store. I have to sit in line for hours. It takes hours to get there. Then I have to buy the gas to even get to the store. And then I have to cook and I have to get cold. I have to turn it cold before I can even cook. And, oh, it was hell. It was hell. And I was getting ready for a fight. What's wrong with me? But, but, you know, though, I felt like I had the pride of Puerto Rico on my back, and I felt like being able to push through that and fight through that and getting onto that stage was winning enough, was to prove that. And, no, that didn't put us down. Like, no matter what happened, I was screaming to the world that thousands of people were dying, and nobody believed me. Nobody believed me. I saw the people in the fucking street dying. I saw people dying, and nobody would believe me. Nobody would fucking believe me. And... I just felt like I had to, I had to fight, like I had to, to, to prove that, 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 that we, that we could, we could fight out of this. And it was, I, um, I played the anthem of, of Puerto Rico, sorry, <laughs> I can't believe I'm fucking crying. I played the anthem of Puerto Rico, not, not the one that they watered down, the one that talks about what, what, what the people have gone through. And people, I had handfuls of people tell me it made them cry it brought them chills to, to hear that anthem and to know everything that we've been through as an island and, and the neglect that we've dealt with to get onto that stage and to be able to, to to even be there was a victory for us so now i have electricity i can eat and everything is going right and, and now i get to, to challenge myself and, and now that i have my blood fixed and um Everything is going good. I, I just, I'm, I'm just so happy, so excited, so happy to have electricity, so happy to, to be able to live my dream. I get to live my dream. I get to go to Japan. I get to fight. I mean, UFC is one thing. It's a pinnacle, but I didn't get to go to Japan. That's like people, they can get buried in their deeds mm -hmm. in Japan. Samurai, you know. I want to be buried in my game one day. <laughs> Kumute Radio is brought to you by Supplement Warfare. Go to supplementwarfare.com.au for all the best supplements on the planet. Use coupon code Kumute Radio at checkout to get 10% off all orders.